Well, descriptions of Republican presidential candidate Tom Tancredo run the gamut from racist hate monger to American patriot. But he may have tipped the scales in the eyes of some when he decided to boycott Sunday's Republican debate on Spanish language channel Univision or Univision. That sounded kind of French. Well, you can pretty much bet your grandmother where the cries of outrage land on that particular spectrum now. What you won't necessarily hear is his reason for skipping the debate. Joining me now is the man himself, Tom Tancredo. Congressman, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to join you. Well, thanks. I'm an American of predominantly Italian heritage myself. I do a couple of radio shows in Houston and San Antonio. And just last week, I got an email from somebody calling me um, a racist WAP. Is that, is, do, 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 you, do you get a lot of that kind of thing, too? I mean, people just, uh, and you and I, by the way, kind of agree on, on what's going on with immigration. The entire population of Mexico can come here, Congressman, as long as they do it legally. Yeah. It, it, yes, to answer your question, I get a lot of that stuff and have for a, a long time. And you have to sort of get used to it if you're going to be in this business, as you know. And you have to get used to it, especially if you're going to be talking about a subject that is this touchy, this controversial, this emotional and there is a great deal of emotion wrapped up in it I'm aware of it but I'm also aware of the fact that it is perhaps the most important domestic policy issue with which we can deal and therefore I feel compelled to do it as long as I can well is it your feeling that the other candidates sold out by going on Univision absolutely it, this is look you are uh, running for president of the United States, right? Or at least you're running for your party's nomination. You are talking to people who are registered Republicans for the most part because that's the ones who are going to be voting in your, in your, in your election in the primary. But, of course, everybody else who's listening who you hope to get their vote later on. But that vote is dependent upon, hopefully, if, if, if the law is enforced, it's dependent upon their citizenship. Right. Right? Well, to be a citizen in this country, you need to be either born here or you need to, if you are an immigrant coming to the country and becoming a citizen, the law requires you to know and understand the English language. So to whom else are you speaking at a debate that's entirely in another language? And, and why would you be doing it except, of course, that you are pandering to a, both a group and a philosophy? Yeah. The, the group, of course, is the Hispanic American, um, American uh, voting bloc that they think is out there that is going to only vote to, for you if you speak to them in Spanish. And the other is this, this multiculturalist philosophy, which I totally reject. I'm telling you, it is going to be the death of our society. Well, if somebody tried to speak to me in Italian, I would actually be, I would be insulted by that. I'm an American. I speak English. That's the way it is. I have to know, though, why not go out there, do the debate, and tell them, every time you speak, do not translate what I just said. I'm here in protest of this debate. Wouldn't that maybe have gotten you uh, some more traction than not going at all? Well, uh, I don't know. I've done an awful lot of... Uh, of interviews yeah. <laughs> as a result. Oh, that's true. Okay. Going. So I'm not sure which would have gotten me more, quote, time on this issue. But I, I will say that I, I, I believe that it is important to make a statement. The, the statement I made was, you know, I, I don't I, we need to have a common language in this country. Yeah. It is imperative. It's, it's not just some sort of chauvinistic attitude. It's the fact that we have a country from which so many people are drawn from so many different places that once you are here, you desperately need one thing at least to hold you together. And, it's and, called and, that, the and that at least should be the language. I, uh, one, one quick question. I have to go. Do you hate Mexicans? <laughs> no, I do not. Of course not. not at all. Thank you very There's much. No we appreciate your time. my heart for anybody.